I got a comment from someone, but this comment is not very important. What's important is that it represents something bigger and a much more widespread critique of any advocacy of racialism to any degree. Um, the argument goes like, oh, we need to not advocate anything racial or speak of anything racial because that's gonna make people mad at liberty or libertarianism and libertarianism would advance because assholes like fringe elements try to shoehorn in a bunch of other stuff with, with libertarianism in response to that is is no I don't um, I'm not calling it libertarianism but on another note I don't think like just what this this commenter brought up was the Ron Paul newsletters you know, this person said you know look at how much crap Libertarians are getting for the for these Ron Paul newsletters, which are I don't know how many years ago, and they weren't even written by Ron Paul. Apparently, Ron Paul approved them, or must have seen them, or or something. Um, and so it's like a really who cares thing, but but of course they're 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 making a big stink about it. Well, I view that as evidence that it's basically impossible to appease these animals. Uh, racism, quote-unquote, exists on a curve, right? Because the cultural Marxists, they need racism and they need racists, they're going to get their racists, okay? And the racists are going to be the people on the left side of, of the non-racism curve, right? And so... You know, it doesn't matter if you're for treating people equally or whatever. If you're on this side of the curve, you're going to be the racist, right? And as the curve shifts more and more, as the norm shifts to, you know, not only do you have to be for equal opportunity, you have to be for discrimination against white people. You know, that's how not racist you are. Um, and... You know, we, you're going to get to a point where equal opportunity, that's racist, or that's code for racist, right? And, and the reason that it is, I mean, it sounds absurd, but the reason that it is, and it's treated that way, is because you're on the left side of the curve, right? And if you're on the left side of the curve, you're a racist, even if you are for equal opportunity, because it's a relative thing. Racism is determined on a curve. Um, so, I mean, a, a, a lot of libertarians... You know, if even if you're for equality and equal, op or not equality, but equal opportunity and equality under the law and all that, you know, it doesn't matter because that's more racist than actual, you know, racial discrimination against white people. See, so 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 you're fucked. <laughs> so just give give up that and 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 stop trying to appease these animals. Moreover, I'll just say that <laughs> I've had more experience. outright advocating for, you know, a racial partition of the United States with explicit racial states. Say, hey, I'm for a white, you know, nationalist state, but also, you know, Aztlan and New Africa, okay? Uh, people don't... I, I, it surprised me a little bit, but, I, I mean, I've talked to, like, liberals, right? And black people definitely don't mind this general idea, but you got to put it all together. You can't just say, I want a white-only country... No, you got to say specifically what you're for. You're for national self-determination and all that. You know, and you apply it consistently. And, you know, when you do that, like... Because, like, if you outright say, I'm not racist, quote-unquote, at all, you know, that's not really... People are going to suspect things. People are going to suspect you're hiding things. But, you know, if, if you come out and say what you're actually for and put it all out there... The speculation is done, right? And it's out there for them to see, and no longer do they have these these boogeymen, these, these fantastical notions about what some other people believe, right? You know, because cause when, cause when you don't tell them the truth, they're, they're going to make shit up, right? And if you tell them, you know, I'm not racist at all to, to any degree, whatever racist even means, um, then they're just going to say, oh, he's lying. So he must be a genocidal maniac, right? So 
No, I, I, I reject the, the idea that um, trying to be not racist, you know, I, I reject the idea that that's a good strategy. Um, I think it's a losing battle. You're never going to appease these animals. Um, and I think that, you know, being explicit about the partitions that you advocate um, don't have, I mean, people don't flip out nearly to the degree as you, I mean, they don't flip out nearly as much as they do with race and IQ. With race and IQ, people get really emotional and butthurt about that um, because it's just religious crap. Um, so yeah, that, that's all I have to say about this. Um, don't know how to really conclude this, except that, yeah, I, I think that, that a lot of the libertarians have been sold a, a, a bill of goods. They've been sold an idea, but basically they're dealing with these people as if they can, like, you know, if they just understand our position and they just realize what we're actually for, they're going to stop calling us racist. No, they're not. And so you might as well just <laughs> go all the way. And in fact, I think when you go all the way, uh, well, I mean, a lot of libertarians, they aren't for a white racial state. Uh, not, at least not de jure, although de facto, I think they basically are. <laughs> I think... You know, by the policies and the kinds of people they'll, they'll attract, it'll end up being that, even if they're not setting out to create that, that. But that's another story anyway. But, in fact, I almost think that... <laughs> I almost think that just saying that you're for a, a white racial separate state, along with, you know, others, and having a, a organized partition of the United States into, into several segments... Uh, is almost more marketable than libertarianism. <laughs> I really do. I really think that's a more marketable and more propaganda uh, effective uh, ideology than is libertarianism. Right. So I don't. Yeah. So I I, I I I reject the idea that you can appease these people. I reject the idea that you can um, that there's any escape from the racism charge. Uh, and I reject the idea that libertarianism is more marketable than uh, racial and other lines, other grounds, uh, partitioning of the United States. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say here.